The biggest news of this week has to be LeBron signing his extension with the Lakers and remains one of the biggest news of the offseason. It seems the Lakers finally found a breakthrough in negotiations with the King and they're very happy to have him stay with them for the next few years. We'll take a look at the details of the deal and what Rob Palenka had to say about all of it. First up, Palenka's ambitious plan for LeBron. LeBron James at 37 is still comfortably one of the best players in the league and that speaks volumes about his talent and class. The Lakers, on the other hand, and have a glittering history behind them and won a ring not too long ago, but find themselves in a terrible spot. So it was hardly a surprise that they wanted to go out of their way to accommodate one of the biggest names in the history of the sport and offer him a lucrative contract to keep him with the franchise until he'll be 40. But Palinka and the front office of the Lakers aren't done just yet. They want to keep LeBron with the Lakers and want to ensure that he ends up retiring as a Laker. It's definitely deserved too, given the fact that the Lakers were nothing but mediocre before LeBron joined and he helped win them a championship. He changed them from being a laughing stock into serious contenders. And while their local rivals, the Clippers, still hold a major advantage in head-to-head, -head, the Lakers have salvaged some of the lost respect. So when you consider all of this, it's hardly surprising that Palinka and co. are doing a fantastic job of keeping LeBron happy. It's also their only option after their big move to sign Russell Westbrook last summer backfired and it turned out to be a horrific trade. Now with Westbrook set to leave and Anthony Davis injured, the keys to the future of the franchise remain firmly in the hands of LeBron James. Next, Polinka's promise to LeBron. As per Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports, in the recent meetings where the breakthrough was reached regarding LeBron's extension, Polinka made his feelings known to LeBron and promised to use every resource possible to turn the Lakers into title contenders. Every year, the King spends with the Lakers. That's a big promise, but one that the VP of Operations had to make to ensure that LeBron LeBron sticks around for long. And if we're being honest, that's the minimum they can do too. In fact, being ambitious in the offseason only to please LeBron shouldn't be the way they go about things. Rather, the organization needs to make it a part and parcel of their approach in the offseason if they want to build a successful team after LeBron's exit too. The Lakers are way too big to be finishing outside of the playoff spot so regularly, and that's why they need to be more proactive in the market. But what exactly does Palinka mean when he says resources? That's a big question. Is it a dig at one of the outgoing players like Westbrook, or is it just about the draft picks because Palinka hasn't looked like getting rid of them just yet? He knows that the Lakers need to be in a position to start rebuilding very soon, regardless of what happens with LeBron and whether or not he stays with the franchise. But Palinka's promise means that the Lakers aren't done in the offseason, and we should keep our notifications on because they're getting desperate now. Then, what does the King want? In your mid and late 30s, it's very common for the best players to join a team that can help them compete for the NBA championship. Many have taken huge pay cuts to support their team, and while LeBron earned his money and the new contract, he's still holding out for more possible trades that can refresh the roster and get the Lakers out of their rut. As it stands, the franchise just doesn't have the facilities to compete with the other rosters in the league after they improved massively over the offseason. And LeBron's been very vocal about his demands. The biggest change he wants on the roster is getting Russell Westbrook out of the Lakers roster after the kind of season he experienced. LeBron and the other senior management believes that hoping Westbrook would come good is simply not a good idea, and they need to act fast and get rid of him. Credit to Belinka, he's been trying to offload Westbrook all summer long, but it won't be easy and will take some time because Westbrook's one of the few ways the Lakers can improve their roster. The second change LeBron wants is a reunion with Kiri Irving, who isn't exactly committed to the Brooklyn Nets and could lead the franchise along with Kevin Durant. As per reliable reports, LeBron believes that Kiri can instantly turn the Lakers into challengers in the upcoming season. But a deal is quite complicated and is taking quite a lot of time with the Nets holding out for more than the Lakers can afford to give. And Palinka's challenge. Rob Palinka isn't exactly someone who's adored by the Lakers fans and becomes the scapegoat more often than not considering the poor performance by the LA franchise in the recent offseason. This offseason has been quite similar as the Lakers have fumbled the Kiri deal until something significant changes later on in the window. They've also managed to miss out on multiple other targets, and that isn't something that would fill LeBron with a lot of hope. In fact, when there was a bit of uncertainty surrounding the King's future, fans believed that he wouldn't make it out of his hood if LeBron didn't commit his long-term future to the franchise. But all said and done, the Lakers are now facing multiple questions. Gamble their future rebuild, which is inevitable, to have a shot at the championship this year, or give in to the demands and go all 
enough for short-term options. Plus, the future rebuild plan also revolves around LeBron. He has revealed his intentions of playing with his son Bronny in the NBA before retiring, and he said that he'd go wherever Bronny would be. The Lakers would probably need to keep an eye out for that and would require a pick to get Bronny in if they truly want LeBron to retire as a Laker. In other news, first up, a third team to enter the Kiri Westbrook deal. The Kiri Irving trade saga has gone on for so long now that we all genuinely hope to find some sort of confirmation on it. As per the latest reports, the Nets aren't interested in the future draft picks that the Lakers have to offer because they want a player who can make an impact now rather than in the future. Of course, the Lakers do not have such a player, so as per the latest rumors, a third team could enter and facilitate the deal. There are a number of franchises that have been linked with being that third team, including the likes of San Antonio Spurs, the New York Knicks, the Utah Jazz, and even the Indiana Pacers. The Knicks would be the favorites, but they'll need to acquire Donovan Mitchell first for any chance of that happening. Up next, LeBron still adamant on Kiri pursuit. It's hardly a surprise at this point, but the biggest push in getting Kiri Irving to the Lakers is coming from the king himself. In fact, many insiders suggested that LeBron was given reassurances before he signed the extension that the Lakers are willing to trade their draft picks to make their roster stronger. However, as we reported earlier, the Nets aren't looking for picks, and that would mean some sort of convincing on the part of Palinka for a third team to enter and facilitate a deal. Let's see if he can make that happen. James remains adamant that the Lakers will end up signing Kiri and is one of the major reasons that he ended up committing his future to the franchise. The Lakers remain very active in the trade market because their current squad is nowhere near good enough to win them the championship and everyone including the management and the front office knows that much. Lastly, LeBron among star names set to feature in crossover pro-am event. Jamal Crawford is bringing the stardom to his crossover classic tournament and he's managed to convince the biggest star of them all, LeBron James, to join a star-studded event. It includes the likes of Dejunte Murray, Jason Tatum, and some young stars that include gems like Chet Holmgren and Paolo Banquero, among many other big names. It should be a cracker of an event, and we're glad to see that the biggest names in the sport are taking out the time to feature in such events. This is a fantastic initiative and allows some fans that can attend NBA games to see their favorite players in action. Hopefully, more and more All-Stars will continue the tradition. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think handing out that big an extension to LeBron James was a good idea? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.